Hi, my name is Mike and I make videos of my allotment and the occasional woodworking project. May has got to be the busiest time in the allotment programme. Oh, if not, it's got to be one of them and it's pretty high up on that list and there's a lot to do and after this week's work there's still a lot to do. But following on from last week's upload uh, there was a lot of comments uh, regarding your concerns over me pushing those at London slabs from the car park to the plot and thank you. My son's comment wasn't of a concern because he knows that I'm well versed in the health and safety regs and the right ways uh, for lifting but what he was interested in is he wanted to know who was playing the part of compo in the pavement gang as in Last of the Summer Wine. Son, behave yourself. Anyway, after so much interest, and in my own interest, I wanted to work out just how far I'd actually travelled. And uh, this is what I've got. First stretch car park adjacent the offices, 81 feet. Offices to plot gate, 138 feet. Gate to first turn, 76 feet. First turn to water butt, 109 feet. To plot gate, 76 feet. Adding all these together, it came to 480 feet. And there were seven trips which comes to 7,680 feet and we go both ways so we double it it comes to 15,360 feet. I checked this out on Google Maps which calculated the distance as 165 meters which comes to 0.12526 of a mile. Doubling this for each way comes to 2.9 miles and I can safely say a three mile walk. And I did one and a half miles pushing the slabs on the sack barrel and another further one and a half miles pushing the sack barrel back to the car. So that was a, a total of approximately three miles. And the recommended exercise per day is uh, 10,000 steps, which they reckon is about four and a half miles. So I got my uh, load in for those days anyway. Anyway, let's move on. Again, following on from last week, I showed last week I was out of compost, which was also commented on by Bill and Val's allotment in West Sussex, worth watching if not already done so. And they stated can't find decent stuff, what they find is costly, which are exactly my observations. In other words, compost seems to be scarce, seems to be of poor quality, and the price has gone up. What I've researched for my own use is Sainsbury's supermarket, three bags of Levington's 40 litres at £9 and not bad quality. And I require this to complete the second filling and topping up of my potato pots. Also used it for a second sowing of peas in the deep trainers and the potting up of my leek stubs to produce next season's pips or grass as they are sometimes called. Then we have the silver grow bought from Goldcliffe Garden Centre here in Ringmer for use by my wife on her hanging baskets to which he gives glowing reports on the quality of this compost. The cost of this compost is £6 for a 50 litre bag. The putting up on their hooks and regular watering is one of my tasks. Last but not least is the professional compost from Ideal World Shopping Channel which is delivered post free to your door and they do 100 litres for £20 which can arrive with sometimes a free offer of fertiliser it's 
quality is first class, bit expensive but always available on the end of a phone or by their website which is yourgarden.com. I always telephone, they're very helpful and they give advice as well. I brought my first strawberries from them 12 years ago and they are or their runners are going strong and I use this mainly as a mulch as it feeds the soil and keeps the weeds at bay and stops evaporation of water around the plants. What have I been doing this week? Well the current rain and sunny showers is typical growing weather and not only does the rain bring on the plants it also brings on the weeds but on the good side is the weeds are easier to remove during a rain shower and in particular most pernicious weeds the bindweed and they need to be extracted but in any case don't forget the Friday hoedown or Thursday, Wednesday, any day as long as you do a hoedown on at least one day in the week. Now here's the thing, lazy me hadn't cleared away the root uh, cuttings or splits from dividing the rhubarb. I just left them in a pile and with this rain look what's happened and this is going into the rhubarb bed. I must say I'm very satisfied with how the Silver Grow farmyard compost is working out. How long has it been down now? Six weeks? It's looking quite good. And later on in the week, struth, another one came. So do I keep it? I think I will. If anything is showing such, such willingness to live, who am I to stop it? So I'll find somewhere to place this. But some serious tidying up is required and I think a trip to the tip is in order. thought with it raining there would not be many visiting the tip at this time or the recycling centre as it likes to be called but I was wrong. Strict Covid rules are in force and I have to wait my turn. Quickly dump my rubbish and quickly turn back home and to put the kettle on. I usually stop at the Costa drive through for a coffee, but even there you can see a large queue. And May is a busy time for sowing, pricking out, planting and all the rest of what's required for the growing season. And this is what I've been doing this week. which then brings me to a close and just to say I hope you enjoyed this video and a thumbs up would be appreciated. Please do comment, I got some great comments last week. If you've not already done so please subscribe and to get further updates of further issues press the bell icon. 
then could you please oh lockdown finishes on monday hey so take care but still be cautious that's that's the code word after lockdown so take care of yourself cautiousness is the byword so these were just to say bye